I would like to call my ex-wife Angela, 26 years old, and me, Manuel, 29 years old. As a very versatile girl, Angela lived her life in her own way and enjoyed every moment of it to the fullest. In the firm that her father owned, I was an employee. As a builder, he was very successful. I was very close to her father. He has always been very open with me when it comes to sharing his affairs. During the course of my two and a half year tenure at his company, I performed at a very high level and as a result, I was able to be promoted to a very prominent position in the company. Several times Angela came to the office with her father and we just had a casual conversation about what she was going through. The fact that she was so jolly and always willing to make friends means that we became friends very quickly. In spite of this, she always comes to my house at weekends for a hangout and we have a good time together. The difference between her and me was that she was a party animal and I was a boring person as compared to her. My life was changed in a magical way because of her company. Due to the fact that I was a struggling individual from the start, I was very far away from enjoying and going to parties. I remember we used to talk all day long eventually. There was a feeling that she was getting closer to me as time passed. Moreover, I also liked her a lot, but at the time I hadn't ever considered getting married to her. As a result, I did not start a conversation about this issue at all with Angela. As I was in my office one day and her father called me and looked like he was in a state of anger as he spoke to me, suddenly he got up and came over to me and hugged me tightly. He said that he made a decision that he wanted you to marry my daughter because she likes you a lot. As a result of being a grand surprise to me, I was stunned and amazed. I obviously agreed with him and we got married as a result. As far as I was concerned, it was a grand wedding like a dream I had, I had never ever imagined in my life to happen. For me, it was like a dream coming true. We were also given a honeymoon trip to Europe by Angela's father as a wedding gift. There was a lot of fun to be had. It had been an important point to out that we did a lot of parting. In my opinion, Angela was one of the most entertaining girls I ever knew. A person who filled the emptiness of my life with color. It was also a pleasure for her father to see us happy. It was once he said he would make me chairman of the company, but I declined because I was a self-made man and did not want these perks without any effort on my part. I was not a selfish man. I believe in the value of hard work. Six months have passed and we're both happy in our new marriage. Because I thought now my new responsibilities would be double, I was working hard at the office. As a result, I was used to being busy at work. However, Angela did not have a job, so she was always hanging out with her friends. It was a lovely weekend night after she had come back from a trip to Miami with her friends and she showed me all photos on her iPad of her last trip. I was looking at images on her laptop while she went to the washroom. In the pictures, I noticed something that caught my attention. A friend of her was holding her with the back of her hand in the picture and it looked like it was too close. In one more picture, I was able to see that one of her friends was lying with her on the beach beside her. I did not like that picture. As Angela looked at her, it seemed like they were a couple. As soon as Angela came, I immediately asked her about that friend. She replied that it was Jim, a childhood friend of hers. There was a picture in which they appeared to be lying, and I showed it to her. The paleness of her face is exactly what I remember as I watched her. She explained to me that he wasn't laying to me in his explanation. The only person who was laying there at the time was me, and he suddenly fell down because his feet slipped. She gave a valid answer, but I couldn't see anything like that in the picture that would support her answer. It was at that time that I ignored her. We went to the bed and since my mood wasn't good, she started kissing me and then seduced me and we had sex. After she fell asleep, those pictures stuck in my head. I was unable to forget them. There were thousands of doubts in my head about those pictures. In the middle of the night, about 2.30 in the morning, I started to check her cell phone, but I did not find any clues. So I thought perhaps she may have deleted the chat from her phone after that, I learned how to recover chat from YouTube by following the instructions there. In doing that, I discovered in the chat that Jimmy was not just a friend, but he was Angela's affair partner as well. There were a lot of intimate pictures and videos that Jimmy sent to her as a memory of them. In a conversation with Jimmy, Angela explained to him that 
I was just a license for her to be able to live her life on her own because her father was a strict person who always prevented her from hanging out to parties or making friends with men. I feel the most pain when I think about this because I thought she loved me but after this chat I realized I was just a key that she could use to gain access to her freedom. I felt like the earth was being slid under my feet once I learned this information. This shocked me to the core. What a dirty-minded person she was. It was like she was playing with my emotions. In my mind, I wanted to punish her for what she'd done. Then I decided that she was going to suffer the consequences of what I am going to do that she could not even imagine in her wildest dreams. As soon as I took all her pictures and videos, I sent them to my messenger account. My plan was ready to start the next day as soon as I arranged a new number. I messaged her father along with the pictures and videos as soon as I got a new number. Then I blackmailed him and asked for a huge amount of money. Otherwise, I would leak all of these files to her husband if he did not pay the amount. It was also shocking to him what Angela had done. First of all, he wasn't able to see the message because he was in a meeting at the time. His office was the next place he went when he got back from the meeting. As soon as he saw it, he texted me and said, If you don't leak these pictures, I will pay you. In a rage of anger, he called Angela and told her to come over to the office right now. As soon as she reached the office, she went inside. There was no doubt in my mind that I was aware of the whole scenario. There were shouts coming from the office and I could hear them. Suddenly, I went to his office and stood in front of them. The two of them stopped talking and said that nothing had happened. After a few minutes, I decided to leave the office. Angela went home. The plan seemed to be proceeding as planned and I believed that Angela had also become entangled in the web that I had created. As soon as I got back home, I went straight to bed. There was an extreme amount of upset in her. It was the first time I had seen her like this and I asked her if she could answer, but she did not reply. When I was sleeping, my eyes got open and I couldn't find her in the bed. I realized that she had been talking to someone on the phone. It was reported that she was blaming her fair partner Jimmy for the leaks because he took those pictures of her and sent it to her father and she was warning him that if he was blackmailing her father, he would be in a bad position because of the leaks. There was also a lot of anger on her father's part. It was not just about our marriage, but it was also about his reputation in his society at the time. He was very concerned about it, so he paid a lot of attention to it. I'm not sure how it happened, but after a few days he messaged me and agreed to pay me the amount. I did not meet him, just gave him a bank account so he could send the money. As soon as she got the number of the blackmailer from her father, I was contacted by her and asked where I got all these pictures from. During a conversation, I told her that all these pictures and videos had been stolen from the phone of Jimmy that I had hacked. My next step was to blackmail her as well. She said that my father already paid you a huge amount of money. It is now impossible for me to pay the money to you. Then I replied, okay, now you have to be ready for the consequences. At that point, she asked, what are you planning to do? Please wait and I will send old pictures to your husband as well as every person in your family that you would like to receive them. In response, she begged me not to do it. I would pay you the money. As a result, she was under a great deal of pressure at the time. I was playing all of this game while watching her reactions to it. After three days, she called me and told me that she had arranged the money. The only thing I told her to do was go to an abandoned place, just drop the money there and disappear. The same thing was done by her as well. She got back home that night. All of her pictures and videos have been leaked to all of her family members by me. When she was sitting on her bed, she started crying and shouting at the top of her lungs. Also, I started shouting at her and told her that I had recently received some pictures and videos from an unknown number and wondered why she had done this. Suddenly, she said these pictures from before her marriage and Jimmy was her ex-boyfriend. Despite her best efforts, she tried to lie to me and tried to make a false statement, but I refused to believe her and then ordered her to leave. Now, she was in a total state of fucked up. As a matter of fact, she still had no idea who was blackmailing her. After I sent her divorce papers, her father called me and apologized for what she had done. Feeling ashamed, I resigned from the company. I relocated to a new city. As soon as I moved to another city, I messaged Angela and let her know that I was the person who was blackmailing her 
The reason I was doing this was because I knew what you were doing behind my back and I just received my revenge. She merited how I had treated her despite the fact that I don't feel exceptionally awful for her. There isn't anything more significant for her to do than to confront how individuals will see her as a characterless and miscreant whenever they will ask her and menace her. Then she will comprehend what reliability is and what she has lost. She saw what she reaped by doing this to me. That woman who used to fulfill all her fantasies will never be forgotten by me. As well as destroying her reputation, she also damaged the reputation of her father. Subscribing to the page and clicking the bell icon will bring you more cheating revenge stories.